Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out and reviewing the new Huda Beauty, what's it called? The new Nude Palette. So if you want to see what this palette looks like, then just keep watching. I look like it's summer, but I just, it's too hot to put a jacket on in the house. So this is the new Nude Palette from Huda Beauty. I did get mine at Sephora. Um, it retails for $65, which is kind of pricey. And it comes in this plastic, cheap packaging. Um, Cause normally, you know, they're kind of like a hard cardboard. Then this is what the palette itself looks like. I love this. I love that everything is like raised. I love, I don't know why I'm a texture person. So I like that it's raised. And then you open up and it does come with a little insert, which this is a pretty, hefty insert, so I'm probably gonna keep this and use it for foundation. And then this is the palette itself. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm not normally a pinks person. That's also why I'm wearing this, is because nothing in my winter clothing matches this, but oh, it looks so pretty. So we're gonna play with this, I'm excited. Okay, I don't know what I wanna do. I'm going Christmas shopping today, so I don't really wanna be like, crazy out there, but I don't know how to not be crazy out there with these sh shimmers because I have to use these. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in with the, share, the shade Bare, which is this shade over here. It's just like a bone shade for me, so I'm going to use that to place it all over my lid. Um, I have down concealer. That's just what is priming my lids. I've never used any of Huda products, um, so there is a little bit of fallout. I don't know if my camera is going to pick that up. And I'm not going to I'm not going to swatch these. I don't ever really pay attention to swatches. Most of the time, a swatch on your finger onto your arm doesn't equate to what it's going to look like on your eyes, so I'm not going to do that. Is this bottom supposed to be like an eye primer? Because it's tacky. Hmm. I'll have to look that up and maybe try that another time. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Play, which is right here. I'm just going to have that start my transitions in the crease. Okay, that's a pretty shade. I'm trying to decide, do I wanna go more of that color? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go down here and take the shade Secret. It's like a deep, dusty rose pink. And we're just going to put that a little lower than the previous one. Ooh, that one has a lot of fallout. <sighs> Which sucks, because it's right next to the creamy, whatever that thing is. Concealer, eye primer, I don't know. I'm going to try to take the same brush I'm using, but kind of pick up the product on the side and then try to pack that in onto the outer V part of the lid. So much fallout though. This is pretty. Oh, why don't I do pink more? All right, this secret shade is so pretty, but so much fallout on the palette. It's kind of annoying. Nothing's wrong with it though. I do, it's blending really nicely on my eye. And I don't really see any fallout on my, like, why am I not talking? Under here, I don't see any fallout, so that's nice. It's just on the palette when you pick it up, there's a lot of kickback. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna take that same secret shade and I'm gonna actually put that on my lower lash line. Gosh, I'm serious, like, do you see how much kickback that is? Oh, oh. Oops. We're just going to put that on the lower lash line, but also connect it to the top. So I'm, I'm gonna go in with the shade Raw. It's this deeper rose color. I wanna keep this all in the rose family. So we're going to put that right in the outer V to deepen this up. Same thing with that, there is follow up. Not as much a secret though. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the previous brush that I was using, and I'm not gonna add any additional product, but I'm gonna use that to blend the colors together. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm actually going to 
line my waterline on the bottom with that color because that's really pretty. It's the raw color. But I'm going to keep that to the outer edge. I'm going to go back into the brush that I used with the secret shade on the bottom. And I'm not going to add any additional product to this, but I'm just going to use that to blend the two shades on my lower lash line. That way it's just not a harsh line. Um, alright, I don't know what shimmer shade to do. Let's just swatch these. Ooh, oh crap. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, I think... I'm going to be basic <laughs> for me and I'm going to go with the more gold shade. So this shade, sorry for flipping you off, is the shade Crave. And then this shade is the shade Daydream. And then this one is the shade Fantasy. They're so pretty. Okay. And I think for this formula, I'm actually going to just use my finger to apply it and hopefully that works good. These other ones are so pretty but they are a glitter and I just don't want to wear glitter today. All right, let's take the Crave shade. I'm gonna use my finger and... Ooh, I love the different dimensions of the colors. It's like a gold with a pink. Oh, it's so pretty. My dang nail won't let me get in here. All right, we got fallout. <laughs> We've got fallout. I know the more you press it down, the more it becomes foiled. So like, I don't know if the camera's gonna show it, but right here it's more foiled than the rest of it because of pressing it down more. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that big fluffy brush that I used with Secret, and I'm going to try to just add no additional product and see if I can blend the two. I might have to add more, but... Cool. I didn't have to add any more product. So I feel like the shade calls for an inner corner highlight and there's nothing really in this palette that I would use. So I'm going to go outside this palette and use my MAC Nylon because it's my favorite. And we're just going to pop that on the inner corner highlight or on the inner corner as well as my brow bone. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lashes off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, this is the final look. Um, for mascara, I did use NARS Climax Mascara. I didn't wanna put false lashes on because I don't wear false lashes, like, ever. <laughs> and I know a lot of people actually don't wear them on the daily, so I didn't really want to go put them on. Anyways, so I do actually really like this palette. I love the size of the mirror. Don't just blind you. And I actually think this palette is really nice. Um, I feel like when looking at it, it doesn't look too wearable, but in reality, I think it is very wearable, at least for me. Um, I do think you could intensify these shimmer shadows if you used, you know, a brush and then sprayed the brush. I'm sure it would intensify it even more, but I actually like this. It's kind of more of a softer glam. So yeah, I, it is kind of pricey, honestly, but I still think it is worth it. It's nice. They blended together really nicely. Um, yeah, no complaints. I am going to be doing um, a couple other videos with a couple of other looks with this palette, so if there's a shade in the palette you want me to try, just let me know. But that's all I have for this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.